Welcome back to our channel, cutie. It is going to France week. We are T minus four days um, until we leave the house. Yeah. T minus no. three days. Three, yeah. Oh, wow, that's terrifying. <gasps> T minus three days till we leave the house. So we are actually just about to shoot out just to pick up a few bits and bobs. Um, today is a big <laughs> packing day for us. We're going to get everything sorted, everything put into the utility room. Karis has done her lists, which I think she's so excited to go through and tick off. Guys, they're on the wall. We've Can got, you see them? Uh, I'll go through it later with you, but we've got a full blown schedule. We've got a road trip, trip basically, and Karis is ticking it off, but we're just going to pick up a yeah. few bits and bobs like nappies and wipes and practical things. Practical things to take with us. So we're going to do that. We also want to get a new dog bed. Oh, um, yes. So we're going to shoot out and do that, and then. We'll be back and start our packing. Woo! Oh, I hate packing. I'm not looking forward to today. I've already started mine, so I'm quite ahead. <laughs> she looks so grown up today. I can't even cope. The hair. Ducky Dugger! You coming with me? Ready? One, two, three. Let's go shopping! <laughs> Why are you staring at Daddy? <laughs> Off we go! That was cute. <laughs> She's learnt the word no this morning, and um, yeah, it's been an interesting one. Do you want a hug? No. Do you want a kiss? No. I'm offended, guys. Just gonna sob into my uh Hi! <laughs> She's grown up too fast. So we're heading into Sainsbury's. Hello cutie! Oh guys, I honestly can't get over how old, how grown up she's looking. Oh James is gone. Practical James has gone to start the shop already. I honestly can't cope, guys. I don't know where you were then. Hello! I was like shopping already. <laughs> He's cracking on guys. We've got no time to lose. Let's go. Oh. That's such a classic James, that is, picking that up. To be fair, I pointed at this first. And no, I said he did. go matching with you. I know, guys. That is why I started vlogging. I was in shock. James was literally like, she could be matching with you because I've just bought a new denim jacket that looks very similar to that. Honestly, it's James. I didn't just buy it in didn't uh, <laughs> four to five year old. Isn't that? Isn't oh, that yeah, it? defo. Hmm. That does actually look quite. No, <laughs> mine's like super oversized. I love it. Um, but yeah, no. I can't deal. I just, no. She wouldn't be able to move plastic. She though. wouldn't, Maybe no. She'd be desperate, like, going up her yeah. steps on the soft plate, like, getting <laughs> stuck. I wouldn't! Uh, but you would look, she would look super cute. Yeah, we're just looking for some little bits and bobs. No, this is the... Oh, yeah, she goes into older kids now. It's just crazy. Yeah, one to one and a half. Yeah, I so know. we can get one to one and a half. We're so... have to go to the baby aisle. <laughs> All the grown-up... Oh, here's the little... Oh, James, look! Oh, they Stop! Are oh, my gosh. After saying I wouldn't put her in a denim jacket and then next vlog she'll be in like a denim skirt that she can't even move in. Is that denim-y? Uh, it's actually no. quite, it's a soft yeah. denim. Oh, that's cute. And summery. Oh, gotta get some shorts. We're gonna Holly be, Bob. <laughs> Holly Bob shorts. Holly Bob shorts. <laughs> we've just left yeah. them back. Oh, Do you wanna pick sorry. something? We don't actually, we don't actually <laughs> bye care bye. about you. We just wanna buy you cute clothes. Bye then. <laughs> okay, we're doing well with the shopping. Um, I've actually decided, guys, I'm gonna invest in oh. this very i just think i need to start looking after my nails like look Thank at them you. they're growing a bit but oh hello <laughs> they're growing and i really want to like i loved when i had them done <laughs> they're growing up so fast my nails i loved when i had them done the other day and i was making such a big deal about it but i don't really have time in the week to have them done regularly so i was like oh i'm feeling sad about that but my friend she uses her own little kit with the light and everything and she was like you should do that and she's done mine for me before and I loved it. Like even just having just a little something on my nails just makes me feel put together. So I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna do it later, guys. We're gonna have bougie nails. I'll let you know how it goes. I'll let you know if it actually what works. What does that word even mean? I don't know, but I overuse the word bougie at the moment. It'll last a little know. while and then I'll stop using it. <laughs> um, I like you're just over, you know. Yeah. It's like when you find a favourite food and you I just do. pop it in and you're like, no, I'm done with that I'm done. Now. And that is definitely like, I don't know if Bougie. you, you don't really do that. Do you, James? I do. I do. You yes. do, do you? I do it with songs. Everyone does it with songs. Oh, yeah, you do it with songs. Absolutely. You definitely do it with songs. That's so true. Whereas I don't really do it with songs. I do it with, like, everything else. <laughs> Food. It's definitely, like, part of my personality trait. I get obsessed. And then I'm over it. And then I'm obsessed. And then I'm over it. What have you got there, Missy? She really wanted to hold it. Wow. She's like, to you... me. To me, I want to hold it. You are so helpful. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Well done, Amber. Do you want me to take it off you? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. So we've just been, Amber's just flashing you her socks. We've just been, <laughs> wow. Um, picking up some bits for Mila. We've got a new bed that's going to fit we've in the car. We've we got, got a couple of lighter dog bowls because yeah. those at home are like really heavy. 
some balls and a little car toy. Aww. A new car toy she can have for the journey. And like a thing to strap her in the car safely as well, because we're gonna have everyone strapped in and ready to go. Woo! Family road trip coming up. Amber's new favorite word is dog, and she's saying dog everywhere. Look, what's that on the wall? Dog. Dog. That's a dog as well. Doggy. What's that up there? Dog. 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 Doggy. Oh, heartbreaking. We're home now. Um, I've just popped Amber down for a nap. The sun is shining today, guys. I still, I'm still not over the patio. The new patio, we love it so much. And it literally gleams in the sun, like it's crazy. James is out here. Hello. Putting my washing on the line. He's putting his washing on the line. <laughs> Can you see? I can't even see because it's so sunny. Can't see through the lens, but it is so, so sunny. And so yeah, we're making the most of it with the washing line. Um, like I said, I just put Amber down for a nap. Oh good, she's gone. She was just like singing. She's gone, <laughs> she's gone down. She, she was just singing to herself for a little while. So I'm gonna bring guys my cafetiere over here because I usually have my little tea and my cafetiere? No, the velvetizer. I usually have my little tea and coffee making chats with you guys. And now, okay, wait, bear with me. I'm back. So I usually do my little like station over here. But now I make myself a blooming velvetizer coffee every day because I'm that bougie. Yes, I'm going to keep using this word. I honestly was laughing so much when I was watching the vlog back um, when I tried this for the first time in one of the last vlogs. And I was like, wow. I was like, that is not a coffee that you drink every day because they taste like basically like hot chocolate. And I've drunk one every single day since uh, those lines came out of my mouth. So we're now down to four packs left. How many were we're in there. That doesn't seem like I've drunk quite a lot, but I think there was like 15. Oh. Dear me. Anyway, I'm getting through one a day. I'm obsessed. Um, and yeah, it's just basically a whole thing of milk and this, which I'm pretty sure is just chocolate. Someone messaged me saying there was no chocolate in it, but I don't get it because it just really tastes like chocolate. It tastes like hot chocolate to me. So it's a good latte. Anyway, we're cracking on with the day. We're cracking on with the day. We've got um, lots of organizing to do. As I showed you in the last vlogs, we're using the guest room as like our pre-packing station where we're just throwing everything. We've got half the stuff in there so far. Um, I've written, hang on a minute, let me just, <laughs> this is probably the most boring content you've ever seen in your whole life, but there we go. It is just getting worse and worse on these vlogs, but we do love it. Click the button, can't even see it. Nope, still can't see it. There we go, it's on. It's making the coffee. What was I gonna show you? The lists. So, I've now, I've just finished off Mila's list. So all of them are on here ready to go. I'm making use of this big white wall, which is gonna be panelled eventually, but that'll be when we get back to France. Yeah, so I've basically written things. And then as I said in the last vlog, I'm having three columns on each one. So I've got three columns for me and James, three columns for Mila. Oh no, I haven't done Mila's columns. I need to do them. And what the columns are for, <laughs> which we were just cracking up because it's definitely just gonna slow me down rather than speed me up. But it's more of like a enjoyable satisfaction thing. And I'll just, it'll help me just process things because I do get a bit frazzled in my mind and I do struggle to process things, especially when it comes to like stressful packing things. Anyway, so the first columns for like getting the item into the guest room, which is all what today is about. I wanna do Mila's things. I've pretty much done all of Amber's things, but I'm gonna like go through the list and make sure everything's in there. Once they are, I can tick off the first column. The second column is then gonna be packing them into a bag. And then the third column is going to be once they are in the car. So we can go through it right at the end and be like, is that in the car? Is that in the car? And it's just, you know, down to minute as like contact lenses, sunglasses, everything that needs to be in the car. I think Mila wants to come in. Yes. Hello, baby. Hello. You are enjoying the garden at the moment, aren't you, Gilly? You're loving the sun. It's your favourite place to be. You're going to love France so much. You are. You're going to love it, baby girl. Do you want to go back out or are you staying in? Staying in with me, hello gorgeous girl. Uh, so yeah, that's the plan today, is to get that first column ticked off, practically everything into the guest room. <sighs> Coffee first though. So Mila's just been checking out her dog bed. Mila's look, hello Mila. Sit. <gasps> hello. Mila. <laughs> Mila. Go. Whoa, good girl Mila. 
she was just like sniffing all the edges of the bed and playing with her toy. You're gonna have so much fun with us, baby girl. We're gonna have such a good time. I know you love fluffy blankets, so I got you a special bed with lots of fluff inside it. And a fluffy toy too, because I know you love fluffy toys. No, so James is in the gym there. You can just see him walking back in. He's just come to fill up his water bottle. Um, I've been just doing some browsing for like last minute bits that I need to order. Um, Jojo Mama Bennett, it's like my favorite place. As you guys know, I feel like I talk about it all the time. Wanted to share, oh, doorbell. I'm not being funny, but I feel like the doorbell rings on every vlog at least one time. So yes, I just wanted to share bits because I feel like they often do like quite like innovative, cool things. Um, and so I found these, which are like coloring, uh, you can like basically color on the bath and then you wipe it off with that. Supposedly it works, I will get back to you. If my bath is just covered in coloring that does not come off, then I shall let you know. Um, I thought that was really cool. This just made my day like a hooded towel. <laughs> and it's gonna be so helpful because we've been, when we went to, um, well, we've been to, on two kind of like sunny holidays now with Amber and both of them, when she gets out the pool, you feel like you have to get her fully dry and changed and because you don't want them to get too cold because me and Amber always sit in the shade, James sits in the sun. Um, and so having like something that I can just dry her off, put a nappy on and have her in like a hooded towel. Ah, perfect. It's just what we needed. Um, and then this, because it was just the cutest thing in the world, the little strawberries. <laughs> and then this, we also take on all our like sunny holidays or use in the UK. We found this so useful, the little clips. And this, yeah, we just love it. And then this is just the best thing to ever be created, ever. Um, Amber's had this in so many different sizes, but I don't have it in her current size. And I've been missing it so much, guys, because it has little dinosaur feet on it. And honestly, it's just the best sleep suit ever created. Okay, so this is the guest room where it currently looks like a mess because we're slowly collecting all the things. I'm whispering because Amber's asleep just out there. Um, well, not out in the hall, in her bedroom, but I always whisper even though she definitely can't hear me. So I should really stop whispering. Anyway, I brought up, I've stuck it to like the back of this like paper pad thing. Um, and I'm gonna start taking off what we've got in here that I've gathered so far and I'm going to focus on getting all of Amber's stuff I think tick tick today because I know she's got enough clothes here that we're not going to pack like in her room and and everything else to kind of keep her going so yeah I'm going to focus on doing all her stuff tick 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 we're going to have it all ticked off hopefully by the end of today oh not things like her camera her sleep sack because obviously she'll need all of them till literally the day that we go but everything else should be able to be ticked off Ooh, let's go. Let the light in. Let the light in. Did you sleep well? Hey, oh yeah. <laughs> Did you sleep well? Hi. Beep boop. Say hi. Hello. Ah, yes. You wake up straight away now and point. What's this? What's that? Is it a doggy? It's a cloud. Is it a doggy? It's a rabbit. <laughs> and you do your little laugh. <laughs> Is it a doggy? Cloud. Yeah? Picture. Rabbit. Picture. Okay. Not a doggy! <laughs> <laughs> so we've got quite a few things ticked off the list so far not everything though um oh wait i've got loads i can tick off actually i just put all the little bits that we bought down there um so yeah that's i would say almost half of amber's stuff so now we've got the curl pole teething powder bottles for milk um yeah do you want to take them off so yeah, I would say we've got half of Amber's stuff packed um, there. And then we've got, oh yes, we're going to France. And then we've got the rest, um, like bits coming tomorrow or other things that um, we won't pack until last minute. Are you having fun over there? Oh yeah, well done you. Her favorite thing to do still. Hey! <laughs> So I've just finished my gym session and I was going to go up and um, get showered and stuff but we're actually about to shoot off 
on a dog walk. Amber was working from a nap. She's just put all of her crisps on the floor that we've so lovingly given her in a bowl. Oh, she's put them back in the bowl. She's put them back in the bowl. Her new favourite thing we'll, to do. Uh, we're going to keep an eye on her. Yeah. Because Amber does her thing to do. She tips things out of bowls. Hello. And then she puts them back into bowls. <laughs> um, as you guys, I'm sure you guys know, um, we are sponsored by Casetify long term. We actually love working with Casetify. We love our okay. Casetify phone cases. That is kind of what they are known for. Yes. But we're really excited because they've got a new product which they've sent Ooh. us, which is actually kind of straps so that you can wear your phone around your neck. So we're going to do a quick bit of an unboxing. I'm so excited for these. So that's cool. So it comes with these strap things that you put inside your case and you put your case back on and you just hook the strap. Hey! Look at Come that! Hello. So Come on, show us it! Wow! Hey! This is like exactly what we need for our dog walks. This is exactly what we need, and I'm sure you can adjust it if it can Yeah, you can. I was just two playing seconds. with mine. But the rope straps, they're pretty hypoallergenic. A nice minor. And you know, they just give you like that hands free lifestyle. Woo! You know? Oh, just on my phone. Even though it's strapped around my neck. And then I'm like, oh my goodness, I've dropped my phone. Doesn't oh, matter. Wow! Oh Doesn't my matter. god! Oh, no. No okay. wonder case if I want to sponsor you, boo. You're just well. I'm just I'm so good. It's like set. You know. So you've got your case to buy case, which is drop proof, and now you've got a strap. So you're laughing. You know, nothing to worry about. And I got it just hits my tummy. Lovely soft, kind of soft like, the hips. landing. <laughs> and I love mine. It's so yeah, pretty. That's a lovely colour, mm, isn't it? it is. So we're out on our dog walk. Don't be so dramatic, guys. But I literally feel like this product is. Me <laughs> I'm a fan. <laughs> Hiding under her sunshade. <laughs> I know she's got a little sunshade on, so cute. Honestly, this is a bit of me. You know what? This I has solved think my the product is made for me. Oh, why? Because of the fact now I don't have to carry your phone. Oh, yeah. I do usually have pockets to put my phone in, and then Caris wears leggings with no pockets. She's Nothing. like, um, look at my you, outfit. Could you maybe put put your uh, yeah your phone in your pocket? So now she can have it around her neck. There's no pockets in my outfits a lot of the time, guys, especially in summer. This is peak time um, and I'm always carrying my phone on me and I often have other things like now I've got like socks for Amber, snacks, all that, that. So they get shoved in my bra left, right and centre. No space left for the phone. Honestly, I'm Hiding your bra out with the baby snacks. Yeah, literally, like crisps, everything. <laughs> and I was literally sat in the car, like just, you know, texting about my phone and then just... Oh. Cool dude, Gosh. hello. Yeah. And I like it because you've got such a lovely colourful case by case, so it kind of It's on show. It's shiny. It's on show. Know? Anyway, if you guys yes. are interested in uh, <laughs> testing out their rope straps or any of their other straps, they do have a few other couple of other yes. versions. Um, then go to www.casetify.com forward slash James and Karis. And I'm pretty sure you get 15% off your strap order but i will confirm that with a pop-up <laughs> thank you case to buy we love you as always i'm not gonna go on my phone to make sure i did get that link right <laughs> you haven't found you wow so much fun at least mila is james and mila are having fun with the ball and the river this is why we came here because it's quite a hot day today so mila's having a lovely little cool down it's her favorite thing to do just dive bomb into the water happiness is me Amber's watching with eagle eyes. She's honestly like, she follows Mila the whole way. Wow, what's Mila doing? Yeah. Wow! <laughs> so cute. See what you have got, bring it all back to you. Whoa, I'm about to get copyrighted for my voice. Perfect. Um, hello guys, so we are going to be doing quick packing now. We're gonna make the most. My mum has got Amber. Your mum has um, got Amber. My mum's got Amber. And we're gonna be making the most of the packing situation right now. James, you haven't even started. <sighs> Babes. Oh, it's a messy room. Isn't yeah, it? I know. Look, we don't show this side. We just show this. The messy side. This side is, oh, what, what, what? <laughs> no. This is enough mess for one's eyes. Um, <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> we've got the lists. We're getting going. I've actually got pairs of shorts to try on. That's my first task that I'm gonna do. What's your first task? Um, stop packing. I know James yeah. is now currently using his little, to be honest, I've literally only just taken mine off. Actually, 
I'm gonna go and put mine back on now. I've been wearing it. We've been both been wearing it since the walk non-stop. Well, you haven't, but then you put it back on to do your music, which yeah. I loved. And also, because I, you know, carry it upstairs. It's so handy. Like, yeah. I, it's one of those things I just like, I didn't know I needed it till now. Anyway. Uh, there's not much space in here for me to put my stuff on the floor. No. So shall I use the dressing room? Yeah, use my dressing room. Well, um, that makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is my filming room. Please ignore the pile of clothes. I'm doing an organization. Anyway, so I've brought out all my old shorts from various summers, different types of shorts. I'm gonna try them on now. This can be a very difficult thing to do um, when you get your old summer clothes back out and try them on. I've done like a couple of TikToks and spoken about it before because we seem to think that we should fit in our same clothes every single year and when we don't we completely devalue ourselves and feel like you can go from feeling like a hundred to an absolute zero minus a million. Yeah, it can just be really, really hard and I have found it really hard even, you know, even where I am now on my self-love journey which is so much further than I was years ago. Had I, you know, gone through something like that years ago when I like originally gained weight I did find it really difficult really difficult um and you know there would be tears and there would be this and there would be that and you'd feel self-conscious and you'd resort straight to baggy clothes and you know everything like this it seems to be that we cannot size up without guilt we are still at that stage as like a society you just feel you can't you can't do that it's like just not the route that you should be on and if you are on it then you shouldn't be you know accepting yourself for it you should do it but you should feel pretty crappy about it or guilty or whatever so yeah i just want to be a reminder today i don't know how these shorts are going to fit but i darn well know that some of them are not going to fit me because my body's changing and like who really cares the reason why it could be because you've had a baby it could not be because you've had a baby i gained so much weight before having amber i know i have had a baby now but i had a lot a lot a lot of most of my body changes before having amber there doesn't really have to be a reason there was no reason for mine there doesn't need to be a reason for yours i don't care what the reason is i hope you don't care what the reason is the reason is that life is going to throw different things at every year and our bodies are going to change and that's you know normal that's natural it happens to almost all of us and i think the key thing for us all to remember is just that the, i don't know we attach so much emotion to it and like i always say i just try and remove the emotion it's like body changes they don't have to be labeled they don't have to be i'm so sad about that i'm so happy about it i'm so they can just be my body changed fact oh i'm not a size 12 now i'm a size 14 that's a fact clothes are made to fit you you are not made to fit into clothes <laughs> that's not your job to shrink down or you know change your body shape to fit into clothes clothes are made for you and it freaking sucks when you can't find your size or you can't find clothes that make you feel good but just because one singular item does not fit you or does not honor your body anymore is not a reflection on you is a reflection on the clothes, okay? <laughs> so I won't rant anymore, but I wanted to remind you of that today and myself when I try on the shorts. <laughs> these are the only ones that fit me. These are the ones from Hollister, I believe, and these three do not fit comfortably whatsoever. Um, and that's fine. I honestly haven't even looked in the, the shorts. I do not know what size these are. I do not know what size they are. I do not really care. Um, all that I'm looking for when I try on a piece of clothing is does it feel good? Do I feel comfortable? Does it honor my body? And if it doesn't, then we try something new. Detach that emotion, you're amazing. You are so much more than your body. I love you. I've been packing, and in terms of clothes, I think I'm there, kind of laying it all out. So this is everything I'm going to take, clothes-wise. So everything on the bed will either be worn, will be taken, or will be packed. So we're actually gonna do it as in like, we're having a big suitcase each which we're gonna kind of pack to then not open until we get to the destination in France itself, down in South France. Um, but we're making two stops on the way, one in kind of near Folkestone and one in Dijon as we travel down. And so we're gonna take a little hold all each um, as well, just so that we don't have to like lug the big suitcases into the hotel and stuff. Just really hope my car doesn't get nicked in one of the hotel car parks, because if it does, then we'll end up with absolutely nothing when we get to France. Well, to be fair, if my car gets nicked, we wouldn't be able to actually travel any further anyway. Um, so yes, fingers crossed. But yes, I think I've um, packed decently efficiently. I'm usually really terrible at deciding what to take. And so I have had cows go through it. You know, good old, hi. I've had to go through it and um, double check that I'm taking a good amount and I think I think we're agreed, I've done okay. I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back. I'm actually, sounds like I'm celebrating a lot here, doesn't it, Karis? 
So that's like I'm kind of reveling in an achievement that is um, actually far more insignificant than I'm making it sound. What, I'm just high? proud of myself. I know. I mean, I've got literally like 18 bikinis and you've packed one. I haven't packed any bikinis, Thing. actually. No, don't show them I've just packed, I haven't packed any bikinis. Don't expose them. I haven't packed any bikinis. I've just packed um, <laughs> one. Fine. It's laundry. I've just packed one. Um, Swimsuit. Swim yeah. And I've packed literally... If, look, if we're swimming, it'll probably mean that the weather's nice. And so it'll dry quickly. Yeah, but there's nothing worse than getting into a wet no, swimsuit. Too, I'm packing two. Yeah. 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 Get, yeah. And I've got yeah. to pack 18 for the same reason. Yeah. You just can't risk getting into wet. <laughs> jump in 18 times a day. 18 times within a couple of hours, so they just Definitely. don't dry. In, <laughs> out, in, out. Dry. I've just washed my hair, freshened up a bit, because honestly, packing is like a sport. It is sweaty business, I'm rushing around it? getting sweaty. Um, and these are the cutest thing that you'll ever see in your life. Are you ready? Oh, they are adorable. Where are they from? Gap. I got little Birkenstock. Well, they're not Birkenstocks. They're like... Gap in stocks. I love my, I love my Birkenstocks, so I had to get her little matchy matchies. They are very sweet. It's nice then, so she Obviously can, because she's getting to that stage now where she wants us to like hold her hand so she can yeah. walk when out and about. And we've never really put shoes or anything no. on her, so we definitely need to start making sure we've got them with us. Not these. No. These are just for picks. They're for picks. <laughs> these have are just got, for a matching bit. We've got like more yeah. flexible ones. I got we proper got better ones. like first walker shoes for when she can toggle about. <laughs> so yeah, that, no, we don't have to stress too much about the floor being kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're going to be out and about, even like on the grass and out stuff. And about. You just don't know where there's going to be glass or anything yeah. like that, so it's good to have something on their yeah. feet. It's okay for us to risk our feet. I'm always oh, walking around definitely. my foot. Get the things in my feet. Okay, Ooh, I'm going to go and actually put it in a suitcase. Wasn't part of the plan today to actually put the stuff in the suitcases, but Karis has basically done hers. I know! And I'm very yeah. excited now to get mine. We're kind of ahead of schedule, guys. Uh, you, don't really, you don't need to look, it's not that Boop. exciting, but it is quite look. exciting. There we go. Oh, I always get told off from moving the camera too quick, and that's exactly what I'm doing right now. I know, it's hard I'm just, like, not to. flinging it around. I know, we we're get just, excited and we just yeah. want to show you other bits of the. Excited people. Because it'd uh, be like, look at Kara's suitcase, guys! Here it is. <laughs> I, I could actually talk normally though during it, couldn't I? Yes, but it's a lot of concentration. And then back to me. James, our vlogs would be even longer. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go pack. Wow. <laughs> Ames is packed. Mm. Look at that, not even that. I'm sorry, packed. are you sure you've got enough? Well, the issue is, this is the bag that's going to France, apart from my running trainers, yeah. which are gonna go in there. I'm always gonna go running before we leave. Oh, wow, fitness guru. And then this is what I'm taking for the travels. Ah, okay. So it's quite bulky, my travel yeah. bag. Yeah, this is meant to fit all of our travel stuff in. Is that gonna yeah, that's work? that's not gonna happen, no. We'll have to take a I suitcase. Gonna, well, I'm happy to take... Yeah, we could either just take that other suitcase. Uh, me and Amber could have that, and then you could have a... Yeah, I've got, I've got like a sporting bag I could take. Like Will that even fit? Or, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah you'll be wearing one of the outfits exactly, anyway. that's the point. So I don't know whether I'm going to wear trackies or yeah. shorts yet. Wear the bulkiest outfit. You've done so <laughs> well. This is amazing. Well done. You've really kept it compact and like <laughs> set. And I'm Amber! <laughs> <laughs> Amber, oh, she just wanted to pack so much. And I know that you you've done all of Amber's stuff and are doing I all have. Of, which is amazing. And I will do all of Mila's stuff. Yes. So in fact, it's all Mila's stuff is all very much in use. Yeah, so I'll just so quickly show time. you. Yeah, exactly. Mila's will have to be super last minute. Amber's is all kind of gone into here. We've got some extras, we've got some bits for the journey. Oh, so and this then... is Amber's like just to meet us in France. Yeah, so that's saying. meeting us meeting us in France. Yep. Even though it's just going in the car with us. Mm -hmm. Um that, Some this food. This is going in the roof rack. Roof rack stuff's not roof coming rack. out of the car. Exactly. Otherwise, I'm travel cot. <laughs> travel cot. Yes, travel cot. That's coming with us. My suitcase, which is so packed, mm -hmm. is actually like warped. Like, pick it up. It's probably so heavy. Oh, it's not ridiculous. No, actually, because there's not... There's no liquids in there, probably. No, there's there. not, actually. Usually... Oh, my. That is quite heavy. Whoa. Yeah. When you go abroad, it's because they're, like, absolutely full of liquids. Yeah, but... Them on the plane. We thought we could just kind of get like shower gels and things I mean I kind of have to always take my stuff which is annoying because I've got like sensitive skin stuff like sensitive skin products which you can't necessarily get in like supermarkets but you average folk yeah I'll just buy any cheap old shampoo yeah hair right mine. downstairs please oh, downstairs please we're ticking off the list all right look guys I feel like a teacher now I've got my lanyard is that what they call it don't I look like one of those teachers with like my, you know on TikTok when they've all got their like, when they're doing, oh you don't watch, 
Why am I talking to James about TikTok? He doesn't even have Instagram anymore, guys. I did say my hair's wet earlier, didn't I? It's not just that greasy, although it is that greasy mostly. You know, like when people do TikToks of trying to be a teacher and they've got like the lanyard, like, yes. is it a lanyard? Is that they what they're called? show you all those TikToks. Yeah, I always show James TikToks. Um, and there's a TikToker I love called Maddie, and she's my favorite. Um, anyway, and they always have like the big things hanging off and they're like, right guys, listen up, okay? They've always anyway. got like the massive amount of keys, yeah. isn't it? And they jangle change yeah. in their pocket. That's what my headmaster used Jingle to do. Jingle jangle. Oh, okay. like, oh, sorry, I thought we were doing this together. I'm just on camera holding duty. Listen, please. Okay. Listen up, okay? <laughs> right. Karis day clothes. This is what's been put in the guest room, okay? Okay. Tick. None of my stuff's been put in the guest room, so we're going to be really awkward here. Right. <laughs> Go. No. Um, so Karis day clothes. James day clothes. Have you packed day I clothes? I packed day well clothes. Done. I'm not going to be naked throughout the day. Smart clothes? Ish. I yeah. Wouldn't really... I wouldn't class mine as smart either. I wouldn't either. class mine as smart. I smart cash. Any shoes. Swimmers? Yes. Goggles? Have you packed yours? No, I don't wear I've goggles. I've packed two pairs, just Thank in case. You. I do actually need to wear goggles with my contact lenses. Jewellery, have you got all your jewellery? Where's my black watch? You know the one you got me for my birthday? Okay. I love that, that's the one I wanted to pack and then I'll just wear my Apple watch. Right, well I won't take jewellery then and no. it'll remind us. Okay. Fake tan, have you got your fake tan? I, I'm going to just put it on before I leave and just Good. not have a shower the entire three <laughs> weeks. Three? A month? Hair? Oh. Have you got your hair? I will be taking my hair, yeah. Oh, I know, you're taking your... Hair no. extensions, boo. Okay. The fact. Tick. Hair dryer, that's not a tick. To curler, yes. Are you going to take your hair dryer? Yeah, my Dyson. Mm, okay. Why did I buy you Look, that? Look, babe, you bought me a Dyson. <laughs> I'm not going to leave the house without it. All right? Makeup. Why are yeah. you taking a curler? Isn't the whole point of the Dyson thing that it's all in one? I've just ticked my makeup because you're distracting me and I have not packed my makeup yet. Right? <laughs> Oh, well, you'll have to put it as a cross, but then once you put it as a cross, no. you can never put it back to a tick. I can't put it as a cross. Tipex. Brush? No. Toothbrush? No. 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 That'll go in the travel bag. PJs? I've packed a PJ <laughs> bottom and then I just wear t-shirts. Slippers? Topless. Um, Do you want slippers? I'm, why on earth would I take slippers? <laughs> Like, I don't wear slippers in the midst of the winter in Cardiff. I love how I've bracketed slippers with socks as if they're like as equally yeah. relevant. <laughs> as if like, you either put slippers on before your trainers or a pair of socks. All socks. Yeah. Um, toothpaste. Oh, no. No. I need to actually buy, I think we should just buy one Contact take. lenses. Yes. Packed. Fairy lights. No. Sorry, yeah. Paris, you, why you're not Head. taking fa <laughs> Sorry, no, no, no. I'm going to interrupt. Fair I haven't read this list, guys. Quiet. Fairy lights is on your list. You're not taking, you're not taking fairy lights. That's just like the most absurd. Next is going to be tulips. And we're going to pack tulips in the bag and hopefully survive by the time we get there. No, Maybe no. Maybe they don't have tulips I'm in sure France do some gorgeous tulips. I don't know. Hair gel? No, I've just ordered no, some ordered actually. because I've lost nude. my travel one. I've got my nude. Extra shaver. Got it. I've got my shaver if anyone Electric cares. shaver? No. Razor for James? I do have my razor shaver. Shampoo and conditioner? I, I don't yeah. haven't packed that yet. Sun cream, I've packed the what one spray. Do, should I leave it unticked if we're gonna buy more? I don't think we are. Not buy more, no. we'll pack more. Just the one spray? Well, the two we bought today you've packed. Yeah, right? sorry, yeah. I'm packing one in the And then you've packed amber sun cream. Yeah, I can take that. Okay, guys, this enough. is just a fascinating bit of vlogging. Sunglass this is the whole vlog. I have packed my sunglasses. Should we make this into a separate vlog? Sunglasses. Taking off a list with James and Karis. Have you packed sunglasses? I packed a pair and I'm going to wear a pair, obviously, in the car. Sliders. No, not taking sliders. I'm have taking... you packed your flip-flops? I haven't, actually. Right. Well, well remembered. Right, I'm like, going to put the them thing. on the bottom then. Flip-flops, James. Okay? <laughs> You've been very naughty and I have packed my sliders, so I will be ticking that. James. Birkenstocks. Yeah, well done, Karis. Axles. Well, right, you've actually just named... Feelers. I feel like for some of the walking trainers. J and C list, this is very C. Small heels. <laughs> <laughs> very C and D's. <laughs> Have you got your small heels, James? Camera, no. Camera stand, no, I need to have that. Connector, no. Battery, no. Memory card, no. Spare camera, no. Moisturizer, no. Breast pads, yes. LV pumps, no. Hacker, no. Laptops, no. Laptop charger, no. Cam phone charger, no. Water bottle, no. Steamer, no. And your flip flops are on the end. Why so, is the steamer not being packed? Are you intending on using that? No. Beforehand? I couldn't fit it in my suitcase. 
No, I know. We'll, we'll, oh, wait, no, none of that's in the room, yeah. yeah. <laughs> none of that's in the room. But just to pack the roof box, it is quite good to have like smaller bags. Okay. And so we could just chuck them in like Tesco bags, you know, like Yeah, that might be bags. better. Okay, well, we're doing really well. This is really great. And then we've got Ambers, which we've ticked off half as well. Are you sure you don't want to run through all of that again on the vlog? Have you packed anything for Mila yet? No? No, because like I said, she kind of uses all of it. So, and as soon as I start packing Mila's food, and Mila's treats and stuff. She just looks at me funny. I know. Like, where am I going now? Oh, bless her. So I like to leave that very last minute. That's true. Especially because my mum's gonna come over. I was gonna come over and like chill with Amber on Friday morning when we're doing our very final car pack and about to leave. And Mila's gonna be like, yep, yeah, I'm off to, to yeah. nanny and granddad's. Yeah, and even though she has a whale of a time, she's probably, you know, but she's gonna be coming with us. Actually, I don't know what she'd prefer. Mm. I can just see her now jumping in my mum's car and yeah. being like, no, I'm good here, guys. I don't like dad. your holidays. No, I know. She does love going to your mum and dad's. <laughs> right, anyway, we should probably stop talking and go and get Amber. Go and get Amber. Oh, you're probably going to drop her here. Yeah, true. Give him a text. It's so sunny still. It is. I'm not going to run. Basically in France now. We're running trainers. Yeah, go on. <laughs> go on, girl. Fitness girl. Wow. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Amber. It is now two days later. So yesterday we had like a self-care, well I had like a self-care day. I had my hair done, I did the nails guys. Do you like my new nails? No. Do no! Oh my gosh guys, it's so funny. She started saying no. And just points to whatever she wants. Do you like my nails? No. <laughs> no, I'm very polite about it. No. Are you sure? Do you like my nails? Can mummy have a kiss? No. <laughs> Can mummy have a kiss? No. No! <laughs> I love it! I love it, love it, love it! That you can speak your mind! I mean, you never really know whether they're, what they're saying is actually it, but like, when I offer her food and she doesn't want any more, she now says no, and like, she's quite... If she's saying no, it's usually because she wants and is pointing for something else, and then we'll have a, um, something else. Okay. So then, because she's using no so much, now I'm trying to, when I do give her something, <laughs> why are you giggling at? When I do give her something that she wants, we're doing the yes. The Makaton sign for yes. Yes. What are you pointing at? You got up. L sugar over there. Say hi. Good girl. <laughs> Wow, you are communicating so much! Can't see these. And my bride is with snacks while I show my nails. Uh, so yeah, essentially, I have my hair done. It looked really cute yesterday. Now it's... It looks like this because I've put it up in a bun. But yeah, I just had it way more blonde and had it cut as well into like... Cute little bob. Summer, fresh, France vibes. Are you singing? La, 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 la. Oh, you're looking at my toenails because I did them as well yesterday. So guys, I've used the nail kit. I'm so happy. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen me going on about it on the stories, but obviously I don't know how long they're gonna last yet. So I will get back to you on that. Um, I've got to put my hair up. It kind of looks ridiculous. Even though it's not gonna look much better to be honest once I've tidied up, because it's incredibly messy. Yes, my nails. They're a little bit lumpy. That's just my actual skills at doing them. But I'm really happy. And yeah, I will be getting my nails now in every shop, just like on every Instagram story. <laughs> what are you giggling about my toenails for? I can't even show my toenails. I'm not that flexible. Can you see, guys? Nope. Mummy did her toenails too. Mummy did her toenails too. So yes, we've done hair. Nails, I'll keep you updated on how the nails go, but I was really happy. It was like just one of those things where you do like one cup of this, you put it under the lamp for 15 seconds, then you do the colour, you put it under, and it's all about the prep. There's a lot of prep. What would you like, baby? Are you on your milk? Should you do some milk? Okay, so I've just put Amber down for a nap. I'm having my cup of tea. Um, the landscaper, our family friend, she's here in the garden. The progress is being made, guys. Honestly, I'm so excited. Um, yeah, so I'm loving the nails. Oh, let me show you my toenails. Look how cute they are. I'm sorry, I know feet are not the most aesthetic thing, but I kind of love my feet, guys. I'm kind of self-love for the feet. I've always had it. And James is like, okay, hun. And I'm like, look, you can't put me off my toes. I love them. I love my toes. I love my toenails. Don't ask me why. I don't, I don't know. That's what self-love needs to be like. Like, I don't really care what society's standard of toenail and toe is. 
I really don't care because I think mine are really cute. Why can't I have that for the rest of my body? We're getting there. We are getting there. And face and everything else. We are getting there. Anyway, life. What's going on? Packing. Okay, so we've got half the things now packed off. Packed off? Ticked off the to-do list. To be honest, guys, I don't even know where James is. He's going to be a hectic James today. James does so much of the organising. Like, I've done, like, you know, the packing for Amber and that. And we've got our own little bits. And it works really nicely because... A lot of the kind of stuff that I enjoy doing the organisation with the lists and, you know, don't forget the hair gel and all of that. That's, you know, still important. But obviously James does the actual, like, super important stuff. Like, all Mila's vet checks, all the forms, everything like that. And all the car, like, there's loads of things to do with the car that I didn't even realise you had to have. Like, when you're driving through France, like, kind of, like, road safety things. Like, a safety triangle, things that we didn't have that we wouldn't need for the UK that you need to have for France. I don't know if that one specifically we need in the UK, so don't call me out on that. But, yeah, he is, like, organising everything. I think he's actually gone to get his hair cut. So, he is doing a little bit of self-care, which is good. But we're going to be busy bees today. Um, I'm going to drink my cup of tea now and then I'm going to crack on. James's mum is coming um, when Amber wakes up from her nap and she's going to be uh, looking after Amber here for us just so we can literally like whiz through and get everything done. So basically everything left to tick off for Amber. What I did is I took the lists. Oh my God, guys, I'm actually obsessed with lists. I took the lists from here. So everything that we ticked in the first column is what's in the guest room. Everything that we ticked in the second column is what's already packed in a bag. We want everything ticked on both the first two columns today. And then the last column is once it's gone into the car. Now, I've taken everything that is not ticked on the first column, so that has not been put in the guest room yet, and I've written them into these um, lists. So this is what Amber, what I need to pack for Amber by today, and then F is for Friday. So things like white noise, nightlight blankets, she needs them until we, you know, she needs them tonight when she goes to sleep. So those will be packed Friday morning. And the same for us, toothpaste, makeup, that can be packed Friday. So all of these things here for Thursday, need to be packed so i'm going to start because a lot of amber's things um like her swimmers her new swimmers and like some warmer clothes and her sleep stuff whatever loads of things are coming in a parcel that i ordered from jojo mama baby so that should be arriving today um and then my stuff or our stuff fairy lights guys better not forget them um i'm gonna literally gather now after i drop my cup of tea and get those in the guest room and get them packed can't wait guys i'm so excited i can't believe it's one more sleep and then we're leaving for a month to go to france what I can't go. so showing off the nails hey got my nails set don't you worry about that got the fairy lights don't you worry about that james was literally like caris talk me through and then basically everything else here is what i've collected so most of that's ticked off the list but yeah james was like caris talk me through <laughs> got my lanyard um why do you need the fairy lights to come with you? I was like, James, look, they just feel like home. Blah, blah, blah. I think he was visioning like the big, you know, like the ones that I have behind the curtains in the lounge, like the big strung up massive pack of fairy lights. I was like, no, 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 I'm only taking like the small, small ones. He was like, oh, that's fine. He was like, but why do you need to take fairy lights with you? I was like, they just feel like home to be. Like, you know, my little itsy bitsy home decor bits. They all oh, no. feel like, oh, nice. Oh, I I got my hair yeah. Out, didn't they? Wow! Oh, that's very smart and short. Yeah, I well, love like, it. You know, hot country. Well, hopefully yeah. <laughs> Guys, the don't forecast. Not so sure at the moment. Let me just check the weather forecast for you because um, it's been raining every day there. Oh, oh no, it's still raining. It's actually hot today and tomorrow, and then when we get there, it's going to start raining again. I don't want to talk about it. I don't it. trust those Apple forecasts. Yeah, okay, let's hope, really hope they're not right. We're there for four weeks, we're bound to get... Yeah, we like, will get some. ...days of good weather, Yeah. fingers crossed. Because even if it starts a bit rainy, even though there's no rain here in Wales, so there's always rain, um, it will get nicer, like, as we're there for the month. Anyway, James has picked us up some food. Oh, my That's goodness. <gasps> James! My dream meal. Oh, oh my gosh. That's These look so good. You know, I'm straight to lunch. Look, we've got to dig in. I'm not a fan time. of breakfast food, so I'm always a brunch person, but it's yeah. just lunch to me. It's just lunch, it's yeah. Just lunch. I've taken your hair gel upstairs. Oh, have you put it in my bag? Um, no, not have yet. Have you packed everything for me? <laughs> Please. No, I've done the hair gel, all right? It's gone okay. into the guest room, that's I all I've done. I don't know in there. I don't know if you did that on me, but they might have ended up in my suitcase. Really? So that must be me. That was you. You've actually lost I know, all I your... I'm telling you, I hadn't packed them yet, hadn't I? And you I mean, have. 
Okay, we're gonna dig into some lunch. So guys, I thought I'd give you an update. So this is the area that um, our family friend called Alice is doing whilst we're away. Um, and she's doing like a Mediterranean, we're having like olive trees, cypress trees, I think they're called. We're having like a stone gravel with like lavender. And one of you guys commented about lavender, like saying you could bring a bit of France back with the lavender. We are, we're having all those kind of like sagey Mediterranean vibes over here. Cause the rest of the garden is like very, very green, like, bold colours so we're going to have like a little Mediterranean patch over here and this is the wall that she's been working on and we said in the last video that these steps we didn't even know we had them they were covered in like the uh, stone wall which is under all these plants and stuff is this wall which she has taken completely apart rebuilt rebuilt this on top like I am actually shook at the talent like what how do people actually have so many talents? I can't cope. So yeah, she's just built this and she's built like a little, um, she's gonna be putting in like a brick layer here. So when you mow the lawn, you can get right up to the kind of, obviously the grass will come up to here where the brick is and you can mow right up to the edge. Cause when you don't have this brick layer, the grass comes up to the stone and you're hitting your lawn mower on the, oh, just genius ideas guys, I can't cope. This garden is gonna be completely transformed by the time we get back from France and, oh, I'm here for it. The sun's going to be shining. We're going to be having a great time. So, James is now going to get the car cleaned. It's I, bruising yeah, it up. Not a necessity, but I think that would be nice for us. Yeah, to... it would be a good start. I've also <gasps> got the board games that we could take. Ooh, good idea. I, I really kind of put them down because some of them come in massive boxes. Yeah. It's like linky. I haven't got the linky box, but just like literally a set of cards. Yeah. And then you just put it on your phone. Genius. Use your notes. No You've got a little phone. nosebleed going on, darling. Is it still pouring out? Is it stress? <laughs> It's stress, guys. It's not actually stress. I, I just get them random. It's definitely a stress, no, please. <laughs> okay, so Jane, uh, James, uh, Amber's gone to soft play with James's parents. She's going to have an amazing time. I'm literally, like, I can't help but be that annoying mum that's like, are you okay? Here's a bottle of milk. Like, running out the door after them. I'm mean, even that person that's, that's like, so bad, yeah. and when she says no, make sure you, like, go, no, well done, Amber, rather than, like, that's not right, say yes. And they're like, yeah, we know, bye. And I'm like, bye. Yeah, so James is getting yes, the car cleaned. I'm gonna go now, I'm gonna start wasting time and then I'm gonna put the roof back on the car. Yeah. Get ready to go, people. It's honestly, guys, happening. It's, we're nearly packing. What? My words aren't even coming out right. So I'm gonna pack the rest of the stuff into bags. I might even start bringing it down into the hall. Yeah. Do you think? Just so we can see it all in one place. But we said we'd leave it up there until the morning, but we hmm. definitely can if you want to. We just don't want to be like stressing ourselves out Friday morning, like running up and downstairs. Well, in the utility and pack it in the utility. Let's do that. Yes, we got it all in one place, but not like in the middle of our footsteps. Gosh, my sentences. I'm not making sense. <laughs> oh, I've just collected um, a bunch of toys that we want to take for Amber. So, utility room is where we're going to be storing all the packing stuff. And guys, oh my gosh, it is getting there. Like, this is literally everything that we need, basically. Just some random pants chilling in a bag there. That is waiting to be filled with the remaining remainder of bits and bobs that we have coming in a package, which I know is being delivered in the next half an hour. But we've got games, Amber's toys, bits and bobs we need for the car, more bits and bobs that we need, her little fold-out chair, bags, suitcases, travel cot. Everything's here, apart from our two suitcases, which I'm going to bring down now. That's literally it. And then all our stuff to pack up on Friday, like the toothbrushes and all of that. Like, it's crazy. Also, I've just taken my makeup off. My eye was flaring up again. So I thought, Karis, no makeup day is needed. So I've whipped the makeup off. And guys, honestly, I've just tried on. You're going to crack up. My first, look at the cleavage. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm ready for this, guys. I've just tried on my first bra, normal bra, since stopping breastfeeding. Can't talk about that for too long, because I will get emotional, but I have stopped breastfeeding now. Um, it was just the right time for us both. I know I did a little post and talked about it on Instagram, um, but yeah, it's been really emotional, um, but it's been an amazing experience and an amazing journey. Literally for over, so like before Amber was born, so like when I was pregnant, I found these really nice nursing bras. The only one I could wear, guys, Marks and Spencers. If they've got them in your size, they've got them. If they don't, they don't. I had to troll the shops multiple times to find them. They're like a slinky soft material, clips. Anyway, they're the only ones that worked for me. I wore them since I was pregnant. So that was like, I don't know how many months of pregnancy I wore them for, because they were like so comfy and not wired. Um, and then I wore them the whole time that I was breastfeeding Amber. So over a year, I have not worn any other bras apart from those. I forgot how much other bras lifted your boob. 
<laughs> look my boobs still leaking um even though i have a breast pad on yeah, I've had also leaky boobs for over a year. I can't wait for that to stop too. Guys, I'm not sure I'm ready. This is not a push-up bra. This is not, this is just a normal bra, okay? I'm gonna have to get some more t-shirt bras going because this one's just, I'm not used to seeing the cleavage out and about. Um, obviously my boobs will, they're still kind of producing milk at the moment. So they are getting much less and less like, they're hardly producing any milk because it has been a very gradual um, thing stopping my breastfeeding journey. So they are going down and I'm sure once all the milk's gone, they'll be like, little sacks but you know they probably won't be popping out quite so much but I did have massive boobs before I started breastfeeding and before I got pregnant and massive boobs runs in my family so um yeah I don't think they'll be going anywhere get they won't be getting too small basically I will be forever with large boobs but yeah I'm definitely not used to this <laughs> but it's so comfy I love it I've just tried this one on I ordered it from ASOS um the brand was let me find it because honestly I do know the struggle of finding bigger bras I tried on three as well like I literally bought so many I've just tried them on they didn't fit um this was the one the only one that fitted me and felt good poor moi Ooh, is that French off to French my French bra Ooh, catch the wash in there in the background love loves everybody well they certainly love my body because the bra's working for me <laughs> but yeah i'm just not used to it guys i'm gonna have to get used to this talking of bras the postman literally just handed me this little collection of stuff bravissimo one of my favorite places to get bras and swimwear yeah my leopard print bikini was from here and it was great cox and cox also one of our favorite places what a surprise getting a brochure that's from Cox and Cox. Love it so much. And then I believe this is a little package from Little Squidges, our favourite. She sent me a message on Instagram saying something should be coming for us today. So I'm going to open this now. I don't know why I'm still trying to vlog and open that with one hand. <laughs> I'll show you what is inside. Oh, look how it comes. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. That is so smart. She's so unbelievably just gorgeous um, and sends us the cutest bits for Amber. Um, yeah, she's just the loveliest, loveliest lady and her clothes are amazing. She put, you know, hand sews them all together. It's just unreal. Again, why am I trying to open a little Ziploc bag with one hand? I will be back. Oh, what an angel. Look, she used to go, so her name's Summer. Um, she used to go camping every year in France with her family and she wanted to send us these before we left for France. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Oh, look, a little sticker. I'm new. I know. Look at the writing. I'm obsessed. Oh, my goodness. Honestly, guys, the quality of the material as well is insane. Oh, my God. It's a, oh, my God. It's long. Oh, my God. I love that style. Stop it now. That is a bit of me. I just need adult versions of these things. And that is just dreamy, like the writing on the rib. Every every material honestly feels insane quality <gasps> i'm new as well oh my gosh the funkiest prints i can't cope <gasps> look at all these colorful prints oh my goodness stop that is just giving me holiday vibes oh i love this one she's had this print for a while we had some bits and um bobs in this print from three to six months i think it was and this oh my god this is my favourite print of all time, guys, from Little Squidges, literally. And look, I love these tags. They look so smart. This, Amber wore, oh my goodness, insane amounts. Um, and we had it in different sizes. But yeah, I'm so happy we have this one in her size now. It's just so easy to wear and like it looks so cute. So yeah, that's definitely my favourite print of all time. Um, thank you so much uh, to Little Squidgies. Summer from Little Squidgies. You are the best and you're so, so generous and we appreciate it so much even though you never feel like you need to send us stuff because you always are far too generous. Okay, cracking on with the packing. Still, I think, am I even, I could not even be on the same clip that I just showed you that in. But yes, nothing's changed. Um, I'm just waiting for that delivery of like swimmers and bits and bobs for Amber that I'm going to pack into that bag. <sighs> Guys, we're almost there. We are almost ready to go. Well, the package has arrived that I've been waiting for. Um, and so that'll get packed in a sec. James's parents are still out with Amber, which is nice because we're just fitting the um, car onto the roof rack onto the car. And James has had the car cleaned. I'm going to show you it because it looks so spotless. So James is just measuring the roof rack, but this is our family car and we've got the roof rack on. This is the car that we'll be taking with us for anyone that's interested. So yeah, James just had it cleaned. Oh my days, it does not usually look it's spotless. It does not usually look this clean, guys. Oh my days, honestly. So many people laugh at us for getting white seats 
with a black lab and a baby but uh, they have survived so far there are definitely a few marks here and there but they've not been too bad to be honest most of the marks are from me and my foundation and fake tan but we're just going to ignore that jeans marks on your seats yeah that's a bugger oh oh yeah actually you're right it's me not you um but yeah it's not too bad oh it smells lovely in here these are a really nice smelly thing but yeah this is the car that is looks so empty right now but it's going to be absolutely jam-packed and not very long at all Woo! these are the bits that we've got from jojo um i think i was showing them on the vlog the other day on the computer and then they actually messaged, messaged us saying they would love to gift us the bits so these are very kindly gifted from jojo mama bebe and then this is the order that i put through that isn't gifted so i thought i would just show you the little bits first i mean i know i showed you them on the computer the other day um but look little shoes this and then we've got like the matching hats for each piece material of them as well and then these are like the towel um pieces so that's like a towel onesie and that's a towel hooded poncho thing oh, i love them and this is gorgeous too this is his swimmers and then i'll show you what i put through as my separate order and we put through this little swimsuit as well which is like um one without legs just to be able to mix it up um and then this strawberry dress i just couldn't get enough of the strawberry print guys it's my favorite ever and we got the matching hat with it as well which is just oh and then my favorite sleep suit which i was talking about oh, the quality is just so so lovely and um, yeah so these bits weren't gifted these are the bits we bought and then the coloring pens for the bath wow thank you so much to jojo mama bebe for always sending us the cutest little bits um it's very very generous and then yeah we're always picking up our own bits from there because we absolutely just love it. I think we talk about them in so many vlogs. <laughs> but yeah, we do love them so much. Well, guys, we've just packed the car and we're shook. We don't even use the we haven't even used the roof box. And it's all fit in here in the boot. We clearly have packed light. Got one little bag there. Obviously Mila's been strapped in there, Amber's going in there. I can't believe it's all fitted in the boot. Nothing's I'm even really chuffed. Wow! Because the the only reason that we thought it would be good if we didn't take the roof boxes because the roof box is quite whistly, so it's quite it's noisy, noisy. Um, which is like any roof box, I'm sure. So we yeah, were kind of like a bit of weight as well. Yeah, true. And it's hard to get things in and out of without taking my step ladder. Wow, which I I'm do. <laughs> got your step ladder. Wow, that is crazy. Yeah. Woo. Well, the roof box will come in handy when uh, if we ever have kid number two. Yeah, true. Because can't go on the back seat. That's true. And then so. we'll have even more things to take. Hello. <laughs> okay guys so oh. this is it we're leaving tomorrow we're yeah. ready you're upset we're gonna have so much fun yeah. are we gonna yeah. have fun in france yeah. no <laughs> no we're not we're are we not. gonna have fun in france yeah. no but she wants to open something back there i don't know what it is she's just pointing is it that no, no. <laughs> this is the at the moment just offering her things that we think she's pointing yeah. Anyway, we've got our memory. So we are. We're going to have bye. to fly. And we will see you bye bye. very soon for our first bye. travel vlog. She's waving. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs>